We know that some schools are already weighing in on what they're going to do tomorrow and daybreaks. Lauren Hall is live in Depew this morning with their plan for snow. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Melissa and Pete. Even if it's been a while since you've been in school, you'll never forget the anticipation even of having a snow day. And today, students here at Depew High School and throughout the district will come to school knowing that if classes are canceled tomorrow because of the weather, they won't be expected to work from home. Alden School District actually started the local conversation about this back on Monday night. They tweeted this message. Welcome back, Bulldog Nation. Wishing you all the best in 2022. Monitoring potential weather event for Wednesday and Thursday. For your planning purposes, if school is canceled, we will not be learning remotely. Hashtag unplug, hashtag enjoy the outdoors. Well, Depew Union Free Schools Superintendent Dr. Jeffrey Raby agrees. He says he decided last year to use all five of their allotted snow days before shifting to remote learning days, partly because he'd rather see students enjoy it. You know, I think growing up, all of us uh, used to uh, love snow days, you know, the, just those random days off uh, to be able to be outside uh, and enjoy the enjoy the snow. And that's what we want our kids to be able to do, especially um, during this time uh, of, of the pandemic. And <clears throat> obviously it, it uh, ramping back up again. Um, I think it's important for kids to, to take that time and be outside and play. Now, we also reached out to several other local districts to see what their plans were. And in addition to Depew and Alden schools, West Seneca and Orchard Park schools also say that if the weather calls for it tomorrow, they will be using snow days and not remote learning days. Buffalo Public Schools wasn't ready to call it just yet, but they did point me to the section of their website that outlines their COVID policy and procedures, which right now does require their students to bring their devices back and forth from school each day in the event that they quickly have to shift to remote learning. For now, I'm Lauren Hall reporting live in Depew. Pete and Melissa, back to you.